at the track as the high-performance bargain of the year. What's going on guys? So if you guys have been keeping up, um, we have some pretty bad news that the Cobra is pretty much gonna be down for a while. And um, we are going to be tearing apart the motor. But on top of that, I said that, you know, this car has been, the Cobra is pretty much my dream car. So what I'd like to do is really get this car going. Now there's a few reasons why. First off, we're so far in this build to the point where really my only limiting factor was the motor because this blower is more than capable of pushing over a thousand wheel but the motor obviously wasn't so we're not 100 percent sure as to what happened to the blown cobra motor we did find some metal in the oil which is not the best news as you can see we have the gen 5 whipple supercharger and we have a full fuel system shout out to team lethal we have pretty much full bolt-ons on this car guys and it sucks to say this but we don't know 100 percent sure what happened not there's a few speculations that we have. The metal we saw was for sure bearings. The second thing that may have caused us was the oil pump gears. Now, it's very uncommon that the oil pump gears go out on these cars. It's, I've never heard of it. I've heard of like stuff in the head messing up or the head gaskets separate, the head gaskets failing, but none of that has happened. So it was really weird. I ran multiple tests on this car, you guys know, and all the tests came out to the point where I was like, this car on paper is good to drive. Um, and I never really heard any knocking or anything, but when I did lose oil pressure, I did turn off the car. So that was the only good thing. So as of now, we're going to be taking out the motor and we will tear it down and we will see internally what is going wrong with the motor and we can see what really messed up. My biggest fear is that the heads may have gotten messed up and potentially the crankshaft is done. But either way, I do have a plan. I'm gonna announce it at the, at the end of this video, what we are doing with the whole build. And yeah, so with that being said, let's start today's video. We already have some of the stuff taken apart on the car. We took out the intake. We took out pretty much everything that we need to, all the accessories right here. So we can also take out some of the other stuff and uh after that we'll be good to go and we'll get the engine on a an engine stand and we'll be good to go or not helmsy we're just gonna be cracked that fortnite my guy it's coming it's going it's going, it's going. oh sh oh <laughs> oh x come on get, in the motor. get it out iter the cams kind of have a little bit of wear but they're okay they're not like scarred up it's the bearings then the heads are good. Let me see, give me a flashlight. This well, looks good. I, I should know that. because See those IQ fabs I'm telling you? The, yeah. They put, instead of pushing down. Uh-huh, they push up. They push up. I think it stinks. I think they're good. Yeah? It's not like it's like kicked out and shit, but. <laughs> Bitch, no. he kept asking if the cam journals were you know, up. I'll just bring the police officer in there today, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, so we are almost um, pretty much ready to install the new MT82. This one is a slightly used one, has about 30,000 miles. So we're going to install this on the Yodi. As you guys know, the third gear has been broken. But yeah, that's it. And um, we'll get to it and we'll do some test pulls with the new tranny. Obviously, hopefully we don't break it, of course. So if anyone wants it, it's still for sale. Check it out, but not too bad to install and just have a good socket set. And you guys will be good to go. And um, yeah. Give me a what? I'm not trying to Where? Well, guys, we are doing the MT82 install. Um, as you guys know, the tranny broke the third gear. Um, that was my fault. So we're going to be putting in the other MT82 we picked up. First things first, we have to take out the exhaust, huh? Oh, fuck. What happened? My whole hair got wet. Oh, shoot. What? Come oh, on. The comb over is just giving me chills. Oh. Go, sir. Where'd you get this money from? Joe's house. Bro, where'd you get this shit from? Okay, so, quick little break. Me and Yogi are going to, uh, you can never go wrong with the McDonald's. So, we're going to get some McDonald's. For sale, Oh one Cobra. No. Not for sale. Sheesh. Love it. Oh, 
Oh yeah, basically out. I don't. I think that was the mount. No, look. Watch. Move. Oh yeah. Uh, we keep this mount too. Yeah, that's a harness. Well, I know what you guys talking about? Then we love you, Yogi. <laughs> <laughs> Based on that footage, you guys kind of heard maybe on camera might have been too kind of quiet, but you could hear the gear that was broken in there, the metal that's obviously in there. And right now what we're doing is we're transferring the center force throttle bearing to the tranny that we're going to be using now. Um, this is obviously the stock throttle bearing. Definitely a good time to replace if you guys are doing a clutch or anything. You guys know if you guys have been keeping up, we've already done this multiple times. So um, we're obviously just doing it on the 5.0. And we're just going to switch out the throttle bearing, swap it in test out the new setup and hopefully we're all good to go i'm just gonna pretend like i'm doing something okay i'm gonna walk over here <laughs> huh who you on the phone with <laughs> a music video guys 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 Let's go. Hey, I want to hear a straight pipe. That's too loud. Yeah, that should be not. Well, can we with the open headers without cats? Yeah. Bitch, it's going to be loud. It just sounds like raspy. Yeah, it doesn't sound that loud. It didn't even sound that loud, to be honest. It sounds ugly. Yeah, it didn't have any tone. All right, so we got the new tranny installed. I'm just going to see. Oh look, it goes in the gears. Actually, no, you can tell this one's not broken, that's for sure. So, brand new, well not brand new, semi-mild, completely used MT-82. So that's cool, feels better. All right guys, so we just finished the transmission install. We're gonna see if this MT-82 is functioning properly. Oh, easy. Got my third gear back. Annie was the loud thing the whole time. The MT82s are notorious for whining. You know that? Cool, right? Got my third gear back, no need to skip. to be honest. I didn't hit hard because yeah. it's not biting correctly you know what i'm Why? saying uh, just high pressure when you're going faster so we'll make sure that we have enough fluid just to make it back home or hopefully we're not leaking fluid oh yeah we definitely need more fluid it went down yeah i'm not used to shifting the third i'm always used to skipping
healthy again. Back in his prime. I wonder, I feel like it's idling better. Yeah, it is kind of idling better, huh? I was listening yeah. to it. It sounds is, like. Is it, you don't go. B -b 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 Okay guys, so if you guys did make it to the end of the video, as you can see, we did open the motor up and I told you guys the plan at the end. If you guys made it to the end, I'll tell you guys the plan. So if you guys are here, um, this is what we're gonna do. So we do plan on doing a semi build on the motor. As you guys know, these cars are pretty strong, be stock, but obviously something messed up with mine. So what we're going to be doing is we are gonna be upgrading some of the things internally on the car. So I think we're gonna do maybe pistons, ARP, everything, depending if my crank's messed up, make sure you get a good crank so a lot of people are saying are you going to do cams i'm not 100 percent sure yet depending on how much i want to spend on the motor because to do cams is very expensive because it's not just two cams or one cam it's dual overhead cam on both sides so obviously that's four cams so we will see about that but right now i kind of just want to get the car going and to do that you know we got to do the bearings be a texid aluminum block i'm not 100 percent sure but we will once we open it up and tear it apart we will know where to go from there and uh just kind of doing a semi build on the motor nothing crazy crazy but making sure like arp everything arp head studs main studs stuff like that and uh doing accufab tensioners up front so you get good tensioners accufab is pretty good with those as well so we will reach out to them and see what's up but um, if you guys made it to the end of the video, I really appreciate it. And uh, with that being said, we'll catch you guys in the next one and have a great day.